you, you got to watch out. A lot of them are into raw dogging it and, you know, and you can't be out there doing that. And a lot of them would love to have a baby by an American guy, by a foreign guy. And yep. you know, I had several young ladies just direct with me like, man, you know, I would love to have your baby. And those rough times in my life, we need if there are like five things that you can tell guys to avoid in the Philippines, like the five type of things like you notice from women that's like, you know what? it's a little red flaggy for me other than the obvious sometimes the, the whole bar girl type of situation right like what are the things that you've noticed that you've come across or i don't actually i'm not sure if you've come across some of these but like what are the things that you've come across where you say yo guys you need to stay away from this because this is what i noticed yeah first one i would say is you pace yourself you take your time you don't mm -hmm. give up give off too much i'm into you i'm locking in energy and then be careful with young ladies who are just cannot accept that you want to just not wife them right away, right? Because it's just not going to serve you well. And it's really tempting because, you know, you love that they're into you and the energy and it's so different than the U.S. But if you jump in too fast, they just they just can't. They're not wired to kind of they're not wired like us. And so we can't bring our kind of dating paradigms over to them. And then the second thing is, um, all red flags for me is dishonesty. Anybody who's manipulative, anybody who, even if they're just like nice people, good people, and they're not trying to scam you necessarily, but if they, I'm, I'm big on narcissistic content. So I always talk about manipulation and intimidation. And when I see any sort of kind of places where someone with the wrong triggers and the wrong amount of emotional, where they could go, that's always a, okay, we're, we're, mm -hmm. we're done here. Um, I had an incident where a young lady started, you know, making fake accounts on social media, try to see what I was doing to try to even send me messages to, you know, and started trying to figure out who I was with and then hacking into accounts of other young ladies that she found out that I was hanging around with, some of which were just friends. Like, so you got to be careful, you know, mm -hmm. you know, this is, this is a lot more chill country probably less than what you have in america but it, it goes down and they can be very possessive and, and things like that and then um of course you, you got to watch out a lot of them are into raw dogging it and you know and you can't be out there doing that and a lot of them would love to have a baby by an american guy by a foreign guy and yep. you know, i had several young ladies just direct with me like man you know i would love to have your baby and of course they know that that means there's some financial take care of but they they literally just they want children. They want children with responsible men. Um, so you, you, you got to watch out for, for all of that. And then I think the last thing would be um, just know that the odds are in your favor. So just move that way. You cannot move with a scarcity mentality. You cannot move in a way where any way whatsoever, you're just kind of jumping on the first thing moving or just not really understanding your buying power, so to speak, in the marketplace and your value. And, mm -hmm. and I think you have to just see that over time and then be clear about what makes sense for you. And there's some some Filipinas who are pretty adept. They're, you know, they're gorgeous. They have them together. They have a lot of guys who give them attention. You're not going to pull those type of ladies with that energy, you know?